Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna solve this problem related to collision from IE Erodov. So we have a ball that is moving translationally. It collides elastically with another stationary ball of the same mass. At the moment of impact, the angle between the straight line passing through the centers of the ball and the direction of the initial motion of the striking ball is equal to 45 degrees. Assuming the balls to be smooth, we have to find the fraction of the kinetic energy of the striking ball that turned into potential energy at the moment of maximum deformation. So do give this problem a try and, and then check out the solution later. First of all, let's try to draw a diagram. Okay, so this is how the situation looks like. So let's say this ball was, so let's say this was this ball that was moving and it was moving towards the right. And this is the line of impact of the two balls. It's given in the problem that this angle was 45 degrees. Okay, so let's consider the velocity of this ball to be V before collision. Now we can break this V into two components, one along the line of impact and one perpendicular to the line of impact. So let's do that. So as the angle given is 45 degrees, this component would be V by root 2. And at the same time, even this component is going to be V by root. So now, as this is the direction of impact, there is no change in momentum of the bodies in the direction perpendicular to it, which means this V by root 2 won't change. Only thing that's going to change is this V by root 2 over here. Okay, now if we take these two balls as a system, uh, there is no external forces acting on these balls. So we can say that the linear momentum of the system is conserved. So before the collision, uh, only this ball had the velocity and its velocity was equal to V by root 2. So its momentum taking this direction as the positive direction would be M V by root 2. In the question, they have asked about the situation in which the deformation between the balls is maximum. So what happens is initially when this, this ball collides with this ball, it's, uh, uh, there will be deformation at this interface and because of, as a result, this ball will start gaining some velocity. And finally, and finally when the situation of maximum deformation is reached, both these balls will attain the same velocity. Okay. And then they will start separating from each other. Right? Because initially this ball had the higher velocity, so it will deform this ball. And when the when both the velocities become same, there won't be any more deformation. So this is our final situation. So finally, the momentum becomes 2mv. Oh, let's call this velocity as some v dash. So the velocity of the balls during maximum deformation is going to be v divided by 2 root 2. So now all we have to do is energy conservation. So we have to find the fraction of kinetic energy that turned into potential energy. So all we have to do is find the change in kinetic energy because that would change into the potential energy, right? Okay. And also remember this ball uh, had the V by root 2 in this direction, which is not going to change. Okay. So now let's write the final kinetic energy. So the final kinetic energy of the system is going to be half M speed of this ball, which is, which is going to be V dash square plus V by root 2 whole squared. And the kinetic energy of this ball is simply half M v dash square. Initial kinetic energy is simply half m v squared. So if you find the find out the change in kinetic energy in this situation, it comes out to be 1 by 4 times the initial kinetic energy, which means the fraction nita of the kinetic energy that was lost is delta k divided by ki, which is going to be 1 by 4. Or you could say it's 0.25 or 25% of the initial kinetic energy was converted into potential energy. So, so I hope this question is clear to you guys and do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching guys.